We're going to stick with draw up Marote, but I'm going to demonstrate opposite side. So, Dwat Gosh. Okay? Uh, so, when I used to compete, Marote, drop Marote was my favorite technique. I used to do it a lot. Okay? Left on right. Same basic. <laughs> After a while, people started to figure me out and they wouldn't let me get inside the control. Okay? So, for Marote, when you do Marote Senagi, you need inside. Okay, well, I'm going to do Marote Marote Senagi, but when you have the prise opposite, so you have to go to the right. So, to do Marote Senagi, you have to go to the right, you have to have the interior. So, that's how you want to do it. So, every time I try to get my inside grip, okay, they would block with their elbow. I couldn't get inside, okay, and it prevented me from doing drop marote. So I had to adapt, okay. So my variation was, they get first, I block the wrist here. I come over top, get the lapel, and I put my elbow inside. Like this. Donc il sait, il a dû s'adapter. Alors quand son adversaire peut poser la main sur son collet, venait à son point, le, le poignet de l'adversaire, il descendait, et lui il allait par dessus, et ensuite il descendait son coude à l'intérieur. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually trapping his hand. I'm trapping his arm. Vous allez le voir, c'est très inconfortable pour l'adversaire d'être pris dans cette position là. Le, le, le bras il est comme euh, emprisonné. Okay. As soon as I got the sleeve after, I would come just like regular Marote, but the difference is I'm trapping his arm inside here and he's very uncomfortable like this. He cannot <coughs> stick his arm out. One, two, sleeve, and over. Euh, régulier, de la même façon. Mais sur le bras de l'adversaire, il, il est emprisonné entre les, entre les deux personnes. Okay. Here, I can't get inside, he's blocking, he's blocking here. Okay, trap the wrist, over top, got the lapel, elbow inside. As soon as I got the sleeve, that's when I would come in. And see, I'm pushing his arm inside, I'm trapping it. I'm going to make space. My goal is to jump here. Like Fraser said, in between, deep. It's important that when you enter the movement, you enter exactly where you are, not in front, not in front. You have to really position your knees in the right place, between the two legs, between the two feet of the adversary. Now, when I finish, I'm pulling him under, and my hips are going up. Okay, so I'm pulling him under and my hips are going up. I'm not falling forward like this, which many people do. Okay? So when he rentres, he's at his knees, he tires vers the bas, but at the same time, he relaves his jambes vers the haut, not vers l'avant. So, he relaves vers the haut and he tires vers the bas. For Morote, all your power comes from here. Here. Here, and then turn my shoulders. Okay, he has to lift up and come underneath. And the puissance ça vient des, des jambes. Okay. I'm finishing on top. Driving with my hand, 
down, sleeve tight, and rotation. Okay. Okay. Start on top, chest on the back, one arm underneath. Okay. One thing, it's always important to have one knee up because it's easier to maneuver around my partner. Toujours important to have one knee in the air to be able to turn around your partner. So chest on the back, arm underneath, very deep. Here, I want to see my hand. The arm in front of the ceinture, we want to go as far as possible to be able to see his hand on the other side. Next, I grab the skirt. Here. Okay. And I bring it very tight to my hand. Okay. He has to feel very uncomfortable here. If I pull. I'm going to grab the collar. Pulling forward. Okay. Stretch him on his stomach. Keep my chest on his back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk over his legs. This direction. As I do that, here, I keep pulling. Okay. His reaction is to resist, which is good. Because the more he resists, the more uncomfortable it is on his stomach. I'm going to take his arm with my other arm, with my free hand. Take his arm, pull him back into Osakomi. Okay, it goes over and under, here. Okay, so again, okay, my weight on his back, not too forward, because if I go forward, he's just going to stand up. So keep my weight down, here, arm underneath. Grab the skirt very tight. Take the collar with the other hand. Pull him forward. Again, chest on the back. Over the legs. Keep pulling. Even if you have to, use your other hand. Pull. And bring him back. Second option. What happens again? Throughout the camp, we talked about adapting. Like everyone says, when you start to do one technique, Tachiwaza, Newaza, people start to figure you out, and then you have to adapt. Okay. So when people started to realize that I do this move, they started to adapt. They started to resist. I would go underneath here. As soon as I get the skirt, they would try to stand up. Okay, or on their knee, on their legs normally. Go pop up on your feet. Yeah. I would feel them trying to go up because they don't want me to bring them forward. So I had to adapt. I had to react very quickly. Okay. So this is what we're going to try. I'm going to go underneath, get the skirt. As he feels this, he's going to start to get up. From here, I would grab the belt, put my elbow down and sit. Okay, so stop him from going up. Belt, elbow down. Here, put all the weight forward. Okay, if he continues to stand up, 
Go, on your feet, on your feet. Perfect. I roll him back. From here, I'm gonna scoop the head, or if you want, get back to the original position. Don't let go. Don't let go of the skirt. This is important. Donc, il faut jamais lâcher la jupe. Et puis, euh, donc, l'exercice, ça va être euh, quand vous allez passer la main, vous allez chercher la jupe. Votre adversaire va essayer de se lever. C'est à ce moment-là que vous allez prendre la ceinture, descendre votre coude pour la garder au sol. Vous glissez en dessous de lui. Puis, quand il va continuer à essayer de se lever, vous allez le passer par-dessus vous pour finir en taper les chiots. OK. So, here, I come on top. Again. One knee up. Skirt, he starts to get up. I quickly grab the belt, elbow down, and watch my leg. All I'm gonna do from here is gonna sit on my butt. Okay, I'm not gonna sit like this, just on my butt, and I'm gonna bring him tight. Here. Donc, au stock, il se lève, vous avez vu, il va se glisser en dessous de lui, il va s'asseoir sur ses fesses. And what I'm doing with my leg, here, I'm pushing his arm inside. Okay, so from here, I sit and I push his arm into him. Okay. Here, sit, he goes up, perfect, over, okay? If he starts to turn into me, that's okay, go, no, no, other way, yeah, that's okay. Just pull him back again, into a second. Okay, one more time. This position. Perfect. Here, under, gets up. Perfect. Elbow down. Sit. I trap his arm. He goes. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Okay. Roll him. Scoop the head. Or come back to the original position. And squeeze. One important point. When you do the second version, you have to roll with your partner. Un point important quand vous faites la dernière version, il faut il faut rouler avec le partenaire. If you do this, they stand up. They try to stand up, and you roll and go like that. It's finished. Okay. When I did it, I went with him. You have to be agile, you have to be fast. Okay. So as soon as I go in here, sit, he gets to stand up. I'm with him the whole time. Because from here, I can scoop the head, or he takes my leg, no problem. I still have control. Il faut vraiment suivre son partenaire. Quand vous, faites le, quand vous l'envoyez par-dessus vous, il faut le suivre, il faut rester collé à lui, là. il faut être agile. Et puis ensuite de ça, on a le contrôle, peu importe ce qui se passe euh, ensuite. Vous êtes collé avec lui, vous avez le contrôle. You can't be slow, you have to be quick, you have to be fast. Okay, you have to react quickly. Okay. So, I found this technique work best from transition. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, partner's gonna attack, say Nagi, here, okay? This is the chance right now. On top, pull him down, skirt, from here, you choose what you wanna do. You can do the first one, or you pull him in the stomach, or you can do the second one. But we have to practice the reaction time. You don't have a lot of time before he starts to stand up or he closes very quickly. And do say Nagi, step out, quickly underneath. Get this hand underneath as fast as possible. Even if he goes on his stomach, on his own, that's okay. I'm just gonna start to roll. So the important thing is to get that arm underneath as fast as you can before he closes. Notre exercice, ça va être de rentrer le mouvement tout de suite après un mauvais sonnegui de son adversaire. Donc faut pas perdre de temps immédiatement pour passer le bras. Euh, en suivant la ceinture. Ça, c'est la première étape pour la faire la plus vite possible parce que l'adversaire va commencer euh, tout de suite à lui à, à se protéger en temps défensif. L'arbitre peut aussi appeler battre rapidement. Donc. Another thing is chest on his back. So when he comes underneath, 
quickly on top, see? Chest on his back. Control. I can't do it from here. He goes down, I come here. He's just gonna stand up. You have to keep contact on top of him. So, next drill, same side, he comes to Nagi. Underneath, quick. Skirt, and then you choose what you want to do. 